I want to talk a little bit about my two favorite effects here, uh, especially for any kind of passive bass, you know, jazz bass, P bass, that kind of thing. Uh, fantastic first thing to talk about here is the Trilogic uh, Bass Pre. And it's basically what's in this bass right now. But what I'm going, to, I'm going to show you what you can do with a passive bass. I'm going to put this bass on passive. Uh, now here's a couple things to think about when you have a passive bass. Passive bass has very little output. And in some venues, uh, when you go all over the world, uh, if, you know, they have a passive direct box as well. And uh, you know, after like 300 yards, it's hard to drive the line to the board in the back. So it's good to have some sort of preamp to help you do that. Uh, and believe me, I've been to some of the best studios in the world, and, and the rec box is usually the last thing they think about. So it's good to have something like this in the studio and live. You know, it's fantastic, especially if you have a passive bass. Uh, let me ex give you an example here of what it actually does. Uh, there's a switch here for passive and active. In this case, I'm, I'm pretending that I'm playing a passive bass. You have a gain, volume. And now here's, here's the interesting things now. You have a very good tone circuit here. Uh, the low frequency knob. Now I like to use this actually sometimes depending on where you're playing and let's say you have an amp that doesn't have a lot of volume if you cut the lows actually you get a lot more headroom out of the power amp. So that's a good thing to use also. It's not always adding, sometimes you want to subtract. Um, but this is probably around uh, anywhere from 20 to 40 hertz way down there. So this is like the stuff you feel in your, you know, the stuff you feel in your chest. It's a great, you know, perfect low end. The mid switch uh, here is high and low. I'll, I'll let you hear both. Um, it's probably two and a half K, three K on the high. And the low, I'd say that's four or five hundred. Which is which is great. I mean, that's like exactly the way, you know. That's the way. If you're doing a lot of harmonics and stuff like that, I'll give you an example. Put back pick up. Now remember, this is completely passive X here. You know, I'm, I'm using it in passive mode. See, if I cut all the mids, it doesn't want to come out. So that that 400 really brings out the mids. In a really good way, I mean, excuse me, the 400 mids, 400 hertz, brings out the harmonics on your bass. So it's a really great um, frequency. You know, it's a very usable frequency. Now the 3K on that is, is really like a good finger. A lot of... You get the high end that you need. I mean, 3K is uh, you know a very high mid sound, so that's very useful um, if your strings are dead, that sort of thing. It really brings out everything. Now the high on this, uh, you know, I'm not an expert here, but I would think uh, that's probably. It sounds like a uh, shelving EQ, probably eight or nine K. I'm probably wrong, but I'm guessing. But, but the, what's great about that is if you have a bass, um, by the way, I have this in the, um, I call it the Music Man sound on the pickups. Uh, so, you know, if you, if you put, if you, if you take the highs off, now here's using the high EQ. Now that's a lot, you know, of course, so you, you vary it. But that's the, um, that's a very snappy sort of sound that you get out of horns. If you're running your rig through horns, you're going to want this uh, frequency. It's a great frequency to have. These are basically the most usable frequencies that I can think of for bass. Uh, so you have your nice highs, you got your slap sound there, everything's pretty much there. Uh, let's talk about uh, the fact that it's 18 volts, so you have lots of headroom. You do not have to worry uh, about distorting this unit. This is, this is a unit you can use in the studio, uh, live, I think it's a great unit. Totally silent, great electronics, uh, the best thing that I've seen out there. And you also have active and passive on the input. So if you do want to use it with an active bass, you don't like the EQ that's in your active bass, you know, this is like getting an exotic bass 
in a little box, and you can you can do what you want, you know, with the electronics. Fantastic little unit. Uh, that's pretty much all I can say about that. This next thing I want to talk about is the RC booster, and I'm going to have to unplug to do that. So we'll be back after a short break.